Welcome to our showcase of the Themis Unmanned Ground Vehicle, or UGV. Here you see our Temis vehicle in the observer uh, configuration, equipped with um, a mass system that has a, uh, a electro-optical sensor on the top uh, from Estonian company Heavitronics. The, uh, the system is called Heavy Track Pass. A cutting-edge military robot designed and manufactured by Murum Robotics. The Themis UGV was recently featured in IDEX 2023 one of the largest defense exhibitions in the world. This robot represents the latest advances in unmanned ground vehicles, combining advanced sensors, communication and armament capabilities to create a powerful and versatile platform for combat operations. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the features and specifications of the Themis UGV. Join us as we uncover the cutting-edge technology behind this impressive military robot. The Themis UGV is a modular and multi-mission vehicle developed by the Estonian defense company Milrim Robotics. The vehicle is designed for military, security, and commercial applications, with a wide range of possible configurations. It can be equipped with various payloads, such as weapon systems, sensors, and communication equipment, depending on the mission requirements. It has a modular design that allows it to be reconfigured for different tasks, and can be operated remotely. The vehicle is powered by electric motors, thus can be operated in extreme temperatures, terrains, and weather conditions, and can climb over obstacles up to 24 inch high. The Themis UGV is also designed to be air transportable, and can be easily deployed in the field. It has been used in a range of applications, including as a remote-controlled reconnaissance vehicle, as a means of delivering supplies and equipment in remote areas, and as a platform for carrying out demoning operations. So my name is Martin Krutina. I'm the Chief Sales Officer of Milrin Robotics. Here we have our uh, Temis Combat um, in a configuration that can be also used for counter UAS. So we have a radar a specser for, uh, to detect the drone up to 6, 10 kilometers, depending on the size. And we have a remote weapon station from Bahash, a Saudi company um, that is capable of taking down those drones with a, a machine a gun. 12.7 millimeter caliber and a, a grenade launcher 30 millimeter um, to with with different kind of ammunition to take down the drone. So we have two different um, weapons here to engage different targets. Um, so you could imagine um, ground targets are better uh, uh, engaged with a machine gun or with high explosive. Uh, drones are better engaged with. Um, with proximity views rounds that can be fired from the grenade launcher. So we can, uh, we can simultaneously engage two different uh, uh, sets of targets at the same time uh, by the use of uh, the electro-optical sensor, uh, thermal, night vision, day vision, and all of that is of course remotely controlled. Um, so the, the vehicle itself can operate for about 12 hours. Uh, the, if it's not in autonomous mode, uh, the operator should be in a range for one to two kilometers away from the vehicle, depending on the radio and the antennas. Uh, the vehicle in this configuration has not been sold. The vehicle uh, in different configurations had been sold to 16 countries meantime. Good. So, I mean, the, the, the collaboration with Edge is, um, we, we have been uh, working with Edge quite some time and uh, Edge decided that we fill a, a, or we provide a technology that they currently do not have. And that is why they acquired a majority share. That is also why we are here at the, uh, at the Edge booth. Um, coming back to the vehicle, uh, it's a serial hybrid. That means it's an electrically driven vehicle with a battery pack. Uh, but as we all know, battery and, and electricity is something that you do not have on the on the battlefield. You need to provide energy from a different source. And diesel fuel is the energy source in the military all over the world. That is why we, we chose a diesel generator to provide the energy and to charge the batteries to have uh, the vehicle go up to 15 hours in general and up to two hours, one and a half hour in silent mode without the engine running. It can go, it can uh, wade through water up to 60 centimeters. Specification and capabilities. 
One of the most notable features of the Themis UGV is its dimensions. With a length of 94 inch, a width of 79 inch, and a height of 45 inch, it is relatively compact compared to other military robots. This makes it ideal for use in urban environments where space is often limited. The weight of the vehicle is approximately 3593 pounds. This weight allows the robot to carry a payload of up to 2645 pounds, which is quite impressive for a robot of its size. The payload capacity of the Themis UGV makes it an ideal choice for transporting supplies and equipment in difficult terrain, such as in mountainous regions or areas with rugged terrain. Furthermore, it is powered by a hybrid diesel-electric drivetrain that provides it with the mobility to operate in a wide range of environments. The drivetrain allows the robot to travel at speeds of up to 12.4 miles per hour on flat terrain, which is quite impressive for a military robot. The robot also has a range of up to 93 miles on a single charge, which allows it to operate for extended periods without the need for recharging. In addition to its impressive mobility and payload capacity, the Themis UGV is also equipped with a range of advanced sensors that enable it to gather valuable data in the field. One of the key sensors on the robot is light detection and ranging. This sensor uses lasers to generate 3D maps of the robot's surroundings, allowing it to navigate and avoid obstacles with a high degree of accuracy. Besides, it features GPS, which allows the robot to always determine its precise location. This is a valuable feature for military operations as it allows operators to track the robot's movements and monitor its progress in real time. Another important sensor on the vehicle is its camera system. It is equipped with cameras that provide 360 degree coverage, allowing operators to monitor the robot's surroundings in real time. The cameras can also be used to capture images and video footage that can be analyzed later. In addition to its advanced sensors, the Themis UGV is also equipped with advanced communication capabilities. The robot has a communication range of up to one mile, which allows it to communicate with other unmanned systems and command centers. This communication capability is essential for coordinating missions and transmitting real-time data between the robot and its operators. Most importantly, the robot is also equipped with various armament options. These weapon systems can be mounted on the robot's top deck, providing operators with a powerful and flexible platform for combat operations. The main weapons on Themis UGV are LMG, HMG, 40mm AGL, 30mm autocannon, anti-tank guided missile, and loitering munition launcher for the combat variant. The weapon systems on the Themis UGV can be remotely operated by a human operator, allowing them to engage targets from a safe distance. The robot can also be programmed to operate autonomously, which means it can navigate to a designated area and engage targets on its own. This level of flexibility allows the robot to be used in a variety of combat scenarios, from urban environments to open terrain. That's it for today. What do you think of this advanced robot?